hey beauty queens welcome back to my channel and i'm actually really excited about this video because i had cut my hair really short for um new year's last year and this will be my first time like um flat ironing my leave out so that i can do this bomb u part wig from ronnie hair it's 26 inches it's 180 density it's a body wave texture um, I'm going to be leaving a little bit of my hair out at the top, as you can see. Yeah, I told you I'm totally excited about it. Because I haven't won leave out in forever, and my hair grew out really, really good. So I'm excited to see, you know, how this is going to work. So this is what the inside of the U-part wig looks like. It has clips along the border so that you can secure it. And I really must tell you guys that this was the most secure U-part wig that I have worn um, the longer combs give it more of a sturdy um, hold. Um, as long as your braids are in properly, you will have no issues with this staying and it really, really looking really natural. Um, so it came with this elastic band as well. It's adjustable. It has um, three adjust options. So my hair is braided. I have two base braids and then the rest is braided all up. That anchor braided in back is so you can put your elastic band down and put the comb underneath. Don't tell nobody that I ain't tell you nothing because that is the magic. Your wig will stay secure. You won't have to worry about it lifting or anything. As long as you have that anchor braid in the back, you will be great. So now I'm going ahead and I'm putting the combs in on each side. This is why you need these two braids. If you make these two braids, if you don't want a lot of leave out, those two braids are really, really, really crucial. Um, it gets very close to where your leave out is at. And it gives you, you know, you won't have to worry about having like spacing issues. Because sometimes when you don't do your braids close enough, it winds up looking like it has like a little gap. So as long as you do these two base braids you'll be fine. got the front on now you're gonna take your band you're gonna put your band where you see me putting my band at and you're gonna take the wig where the comb is at in the back and you are gonna put the comb underneath this band that you're putting that you have going along your back hairline once you should secure that underneath it's like a grip like they hold each other together so you secure it underneath you can tug you can do whatever it's not gonna come off so here is exactly what it looks like once I got everything on. Um, I'll leave out it separated so you can see where the U-part wig starts. So now that we have done all of that, I'm just going to go ahead and blend my hair with the rest of the wig. Now it's up to you how much leave out you want to have out. You can make your base braids closer together so you don't have as much leave out. Or you can make them further apart so you can have more leave out. Or you don't have to have a base braid at all if you're going to have a lot of leave out. So it's completely up to you.
Another thing that I really liked about this wig, the sides of the U-part wig come really close to the front. So you don't have to leave any of your hair out on the side if you do not want to. You can just leave the middle out. It's completely up to you. Um, my edges are thinner, so I didn't want to braid them, so I just left them out. But you can't even see them. Um, so here's the finished product. I really, really like the U-part wig. Um, it's 26 inches, like I told you guys. It's 180 density. Um, it's a body wave texture. I'm going to leave all of the information for you in the description box, as always, for you guys to purchase and look at all of the other cute wigs that they have on their site. Um, follow them. Follow me on Instagram. Comment below and let me know how you guys feel about it. And I will see you guys soon.